of us at home, welcome to Reality of Life Enlightenment TV talk show. I'm Tayo Akobi. Today we'll be looking at Christmas and its importance. Lots of people show love during Christmas and afterward, the love fades away. The question is, should it really be so? These are many more questions I will be bringing more light to today. Here with me are Pastor Sarah Sise from Abraham and Sarah Ministry of Reconciliation. Hello, God bless you all. And also Pastor Kunle Pamipadi from Salem Ministry. Hello viewers, God bless you. What would you like to say about Christmas? Well, what I can tell you about Christmas is that Jesus was born in Bethlehem according to Matthew chapter 2. If you read from 8 and 14 to 20, talks about how angels and even the shepherds came to look at baby Jesus. So we believe in the birth of Jesus and his celebration on the 25th of December every year. And because he's the savior of the whole world, we appreciate him and it's worth celebrating. Yes, Pastor Kuli, Christmas. Christmas. Uh, the time and date is not something I want to debate. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. its importance mm -hmm. is not something we can underestimate. It's very, mm -hmm. very important. It's the time when the Savior of the world was born. Mm -hmm. Not just the Savior for the Christian, but the Savior of the world. Mm -hmm. Like Prophet said, uh, rightly said, uh, he said angels celebrated him and in, mm -hmm. in the gospel the Bible says you know the angel said to the shepherd I brought the good news mm -hmm. to you that belongs to the whole world and like I said I think the question we need to ask ourselves is how should we celebrate Christmas not that should Christmas be celebrated mm -hmm. Christmas has to be celebrated because Jesus Christ mm -hmm. the Savior of the world was born mm -hmm. And one thing I want us to know, you know, and I believe as we go on in this uh, uh, discussion, maybe it will come up. Jesus Christ is not is no more a baby in mm, the manger. That's right. He's he has grown up and he died mm. and he's resurrected and he's with the Father. Mm. And what will he want us to do at this point in time mm. is what I think we need to focus on. That's right. You're right. As we're in the season of Christmas, yes. how should we express love to one another? Actually, the love of Jesus Christ should continue. As Christians, we have to extend that love to each other, our neighborhood, and anybody out there, you know, and by, you know, having good mind for them, by having given them gift. You know, sometimes you see people, they don't have something, but with the love of Jesus Christ, you will be so concerned for them and try to help them out. It can be spiritually by praying for them, for God to send somebody to them to help them out. It can be giving of the little you have, it all count. And you know, it's just like I was explaining to our dear pastor here about the love. We must have that love and the unity in the body of Christ so that the unbelievers out there will be able to come to Christ without resentment. The love must continue because if we say we love the Father God according to 1 John 4, 20, you know, if we love the Father, we must love each other, we must love other people. It doesn't have to be just Christians, you know, any, everybody, all people. Uh, like uh, Prophetess rightly said, uh, uh, we need to love people. Number one, I want us to know that God is love. That's right. Amen. Amen. So if we say we are believers, yeah. we must have the love of God. That's right. And like you rightly said, you know, Praise love must you. not only be during Christmas. That's right. You know, as we yeah. as we normally celebrate in mm. God. Yeah. I think love should be a daily thing. And okay. as Christians, we should show love to one another. Yeah. And one thing I wanted to know that love is a condition of the heart. Mm. It's not just what you do. Mm. Amen. Mm. That's if right. you have love in your heart, you will be able to love others. That's right. You cannot yeah. give what you don't have. That's Are right. you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So that is very, very important. Yes. And we have to know is that when we uh, have the love of God in our hearts, mm. then we'll be able to show love to one another. That's right. Because That's God right. has already shown love to us. Mm. The Bible mm. says, John 3, 16, like we said, mm. for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that right. whosoever believe in him should not perish, Amen. but have everlasting life. Right. Amen. Amen. So, and the Bible also said in the book of Romans mm -hmm. that the love of God has been shed abroad 
in our heart. heart yeah. So once we have received the love of God in our heart through the person of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. then we'll be able to love the world as oh, Jesus Lord. loves them. Amen. And that is my, my submission. Hallelujah. Amen. Powerful. So Amen. what is the importance of Christmas to our daily lives? Amen. Now, the importance of Christmas to our daily life is the good news mm. of Christmas. Mm. Now, what is the good news of Christmas? The good news is that man was in bondage. Man had sin. Man has no hope. But the Lord God of heaven sent Jesus, his only begotten son, to come into the world through the Virgin Mary to die. Amen. You must remember that. Christmas, the story of Christmas cannot be complete if we don't tie it with the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Right. He right. came, he was born, mm. and he went through a process mm. so that he could fulfill his destiny. Right. So he died and resurrected so that you and I yes. can have eternal life. Amen. Remember, we are not born yes. Christians. No. We are like any other person. That's right. But because of uh, 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 the, the birth, the death, and the resurrection mm. of Jesus Christ, mm. we are now accepted to the Father. Praise so God. I believe it's the time to celebrate. Yes. Amen. Somebody who Amen. came to set me free. Yes. Somebody who came to pay for my death. You know, I think we should celebrate him. Yes, indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's, 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 it's a great time to celebrate. It is, it and is. to thank him. It's not just celebrating, but just thank him that yes. thank you for coming That's to right. set me free. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you for coming yeah. to be my savior yeah. and the savior yeah. of the yeah. world. And I think that is what Hallelujah. we need to actually hammer on. And oh, the Lord will bless us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It's for, yes. Hallelujah. God bless you. It's just, um, I'm going to give you this good example for, I don't know whether you know Pastor Chris of Christ Embassy. No, okay. They were, so yeah, Amen. Okay. They were celebrating his birthday. I saw it on television last night. And I took example from that because mm. it's a man of God mm. that has been blessing people so much. Mm. Please, I don't know him very much, but the way I saw people expressing the love mm. and great gratitude mm. of being a you know man of God that has transformed the lives through the word of God. Mm. You know, how much, you know, because he's a servant of God, obviously, mm. right. you know, how much more our savior of the old world, mm -hmm. God Almighty himself that came in flesh for us. Hallelujah. I mean, it's worth celebrating and we must believe. You see, as um, Pastor, our dear Pastor said yeah. earlier on, this is not a time to argue whether, the, you know, the date was right or yes. not. Mm. You know, it is in the Bible. Yes. You know, in Matthew. Yes. Hallelujah. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. And they brought gifts unto Jesus, you yes. know, for Jesus yes. when he was born. Yes. He was born, he was laid on the, main, you know, manger. Yeah. Yes. You know, angels, shepherd yes. came to worship him. Yes. How much more us? Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. you. How should we celebrate Christmas? Amen. Um, like I said, you know, we should celebrate Christmas the way I believe the Bible laid it down. Mm. Number one, what is the gift of Christmas? Mm. The gift of Christmas is the gift of salvation. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's Amen. the first thing. Now, I believe during Christmas, what we need to tell people mm -hmm. is the importance of the season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you do not understand the importance of a thing, mm -hmm. abuse is inevitable. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Yes. Now, I know a lot of Christians, some Christians say, oh, we don't want to celebrate Christmas mm -hmm. because people have actually, uh, you know, they don't, they, the meaning is not well understood yet. Well, I understand that it's the same thing. You can say, oh, I don't want to spend money because money has been abused. Exactly. Amen. Oh. You know, I get what I'm trying to yes. say, but we need to celebrate. Yes. And I believe yes. every Christian, mm. every child of God, mm. every believer, mm. I think Christmas is a time to show love, yes. to tell the people, the whole world, mm. the importance yeah. of Christmas. Yes. Amen. Yes. Jesus yes. is not the Jesus of the Christian or the yes. Jesus of the Jews. Yes. He is the Jesus of the whole world. That's right. The angel yes. said in Luke chapter 2, like you said, Hallelujah. verse 10, he said, I bring you yes. good news, good news. Yes. that is of the whole people. Yes. Amen. Amen. Not yeah. everyone, whether you are white, right. whether you are black, black whether you are Asian, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ has come. No matter the race. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's because he just came actually to break that barrier. That's right. Oh, so glory. once we, we are born again, we mm -hmm. understand the importance of mm -hmm. our Savior being mm -hmm. born. Definitely. I think we need to tell people, it's the time to give. Mm -hmm. okay. Number one, yeah. it's the time to show love. Yeah. Also, it's the time to let people know that mm -hmm. that baby that was born 2,000 years ago mm -hmm. is no more in the manger. Yes. He has grown up. Yes. 
Yeah, he died for your sin. Yes, he came to, to set you free. Yes. And through him, yes. you can have fulfillment. That's right. Because That's what right. we want in life is that we will be fulfilled. Yes. Amen. And let me tell you, you can never be fulfilled in life unless you have met the Savior. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And once you meet, you meet the Savior, yes. life begins. And life, yes. life is very sweet. Definitely. And the Lord will bless yes. us in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Um, it's just, you know, for Showing example, love at home. showing love at home mm. to your family because then there's a saying, charity starts at home. Mm -hmm. If you're not able to show that love, how mm. can you take it out there to others? Mm -hmm. just, I believe I can quote you on that as well. You mm -hmm. did say something like that. Yes. It's very important yes. to, show yeah, to show love at home between yeah, between, husband you know, and uh, children, children, husband and wife, yeah, children, within community. the community. Yes. You see, I, I believe that mm -hmm. as, you know, the, you know, whatever grace God has given you. Mm -hmm. And you get what I'm trying yes, to say. Yes. Like, like, like us now, the church, we're a growing church. Yes. This, this year, we dis we've decided that on the 23rd okay. of, of, of December, mm -hmm. we're going to be giving Christmas hampers. Oh. On the streets, mm, you know, no matter how small it is, mm. we just want people to know number one mm. that we care about them. Amen. There are people this Christmas, like I said, it's not about the gifts. Mm -mm. Some people have money to buy gifts, yes, some yes. people might of not. Yes. Are you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. In this country, there are people who go to bed hungry, yes. Mm. Are you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But we can do a little bit. Yes. So, what we have decided at the church, we are going to go out, just mm. hand out hampers, maybe what a team, maybe, oh. maybe a two, maybe two. Let somebody know. Mm. And when they ask us what we are doing, we're going to tell them it's Christmas. Mm. And what is Christmas? It's the birth of the Messiah, oh, the I Savior know. of the world. Yes. And we're going to tell them, look, this Messiah can save your life. Yes, mm. He can change your life yes. and he can yes, change indeed. your situation. So I believe we should show love to mm. one another. Definitely. But like I said, the love must be in our heart yes. first. We must have expressed well. the love How of God. How can we actually yes. grow this love? How can we grow it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can we grow, grow the love of yeah. God? Yeah, like I said to us, the Bible says the love of God has been shared abroad in our yeah, hearts. Yes. You know, it's by practicing. That's right. The first way, the yes. way that you can share the love of God is, mm -hmm. number one, you must have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Because let me tell That's you something, right. he's the only person that can love you unconditionally. True, mm -hmm. true. Amen. Yeah, Jesus yeah. came yeah. to die for everyone unconditionally. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Whether you are rich, whether you are poor, mm -hmm. whether you are green or purple That's or right. yellow, yeah. Jesus Christ died for everybody. That's right. And let me tell you, at Calvary, mm -hmm. the level is plain. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Anyone can come. Yes. Millionaires can come. Mm -hmm. the, the poorest of the society can come. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So when you have received that love in your heart, mm -hmm. then you'll be able to give it to others. Yes. And how does love grow? Mm -hmm. By practicing. That's right. Amen. Amen. How do we get better at things? How do we get skills? By practicing. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's not very convenient to love people sometimes, mm -hmm. especially people who are very, very difficult. Yes. But we yes. must know that mm -hmm. Christ came for everyone. Yeah. We'll go for a break. We'll be right back. Amen. Amen.